Well, as you know, taking the piss productions, we usually take a light hearted look at water in life. But uh, in the past while, we've been asked by numerous people to investigate an affliction, nay, no, not an affliction, a plague, or some people will call it a scourge, that's sweeping waterward. It's affecting all forms of life. Where will you find it? You'll find it in the Garda barracks. You'll find it in Arkeen. Most of our councillors, our TDs, are suffering from this affliction. Most people won't talk about it. They hide it. You'll see them slinking around with a little bag and the, the, the forbidden fruit, so to speak, in the bag. One young, brave young man here with me today has volunteered to come forward. We asked hundreds of people. No one would speak on air about it. But this brave young man is a man who said that at least if he saves one person from this affliction, it's a job well done. Now this, for his own security, he has asked that he be masked for this interview. How long have you been going on with this thing? I'd say now, damn it, it's by it probably about 20 years now. More probably. Probably 25 years. It all started like, I was reared in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went into school inside in the big city of Watford then, like, and yeah. all the boys were at it, like. 10 yeah. o'clock in the morning, they were going out and they were getting two of these and taking them. Yeah. And they were just, every weekend in at dinner time. Yeah. yeah. Taking them non-stop, like. They go home in the evening, then they take more of them. I was wondering what the big thing was, so I said, I'll have So I started on. I had one, 10 o'clock in the morning, probably one, one o'clock in the day, one when I go home. But then I was getting two before I go to school, two when I was 10 o'clock, two then again at one o'clock, and more then when I go home. And I was at it every day. Well, I'll tell you a very quick story now. I, some weeks ago, I was on the train to Dublin, and there was a very well-known politician from Waterford, who shall remain nameless for obvious reasons. And I saw him, I was passing up to go up to the toilet, and I saw him unwrapping a piece of paper and take, oh, that, and take him one of those. That, I couldn't believe it. The whole place is on it, Dermot. The whole place have them. They're taking them morning, and noon, and night. And, like, these shops are selling them blatantly. Yeah. They're not under the counter. They're up on the counter when you walk in. They're just selling them. <laughs> oh, really? Now, excuse me for laughing. It's just a few... I tell you, I actually was recently in a shop and I saw a girl coming in and he fucking, well, I, I beg your pardon, I shouldn't have said that, but it's so, such an emotional thing to I even know. talk about. But like, I, I know you said you're from the country, but I know fellas and I suppose I may as well admit it here now that when I was small, my grandmother gave me one. But, but yeah, she, because she took it herself. I know, yeah, but she, she was, was the one My father was weird on it's disgraceful, and the girls are walking into the shops. They're seeing them there on the counter, and they're doing, the girls themselves are buying them. I know, yeah. They are, and they're getting other stuff in them. Unbelievable. I don't know where it's going so, to end. Like. Well, now, I mean, I know, like, they're talking about opening up a special uh, place in Arkeen for people afflicted with this. It won't do any good, damn it. They're still going to take them. They're there. The people are just selling them off the counter. They don't care. The girls don't care. They're just there. And if any, at the moment now, are you off me on them at the moment? I, I didn't take one now with, oh, I'd say, a year, I'd say. I and, couldn't. And did you have withdrawal symptoms now? Because, I mean, I know you used to something from the country, so you're not on as on as a lot of people who will be living in the city. You probably didn't have the opportunity to get them as frequently. But did you have any adverse reaction by giving them up for a while? Uh, I did. Get the shakes I, 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 I got the shakes and I started losing weight and I was falling away to nothing. Like, when you, you're on them, you eat all around you. Like. Yeah, unbelievable. It's just non-stop. Well, I mean, the thing about it is, I believe that even, like, there is a, a kind of a, a, an element of poison. I believe, is it true that there are certain toxic elements in those? Ah, uh, it's not really. No, no. Well, depends on the ones you get, like. Yeah. Some of the ones you get to be all really, really white, like, and covered in this stuff. Yeah. Other ones would be really, really hard. The really, really hard ones, they were very hard to stay off. But I heard from uh, good sources that there's even red lead in some of those. There is. Okay. There is red lead. And they have salad in them as well. Oh, shh. Mayonnaise and onions. And tomatoes. And that's how they, that's how, that's how they cover up that's how they the, cover real, up. the real demon. Yeah. 
With all this stuff. This fella's getting sausages in him and all that. Oh, for God's sake. With red sauce. And an egg. Did you ever see one with an egg in it? No. No. If that egg is not hard boiled, it goes all over the place. Really? Yellow stuff all over the place. Ah, oh, stop. I don't know how fellas take. You know? And, like, I heard now that it's some of the, 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 the ones lately, and I'll remember years ago, that some of the stuff was, could be soft. Oh, yeah. But I believe now, at the moment, oh. the stuff, it's like rock, oh. hard as a rock, some of them. Hard out. You could bust them off a fella's head, some of them. I'm not joking. <sighs> Solid. And you could lose a tooth dead eating, man. You know? So what, what's your answer? I mean, the thing is, you said to me that, that you'd like, as if, if one young person in Waterford is safe from this scourge, it's a job well done. Oh, yeah. I'd be happy. You'll be happy. I'd be very happy, yeah, yeah. Well, what would you say now? We say there's a new, a new government coming in now. What would you say that should be done? What would you say? Say it straight to the camera there. What are we going to ban? What would you want to see banned? Blaze. Red Lady Blaze. Yeah, well... <laughs>